Hey guys, welcome back to another Aussie Buckets video. Today, we're gonna to run you through how to fill out your hitch pin size declaration form. Now, this will cover the bucket or attachment side for the bottom of the hitch, as well as the machine side where the hitch is gonna go on, and it's gonna be suitable for our entire hitch range here at AB. Let's get into it. Now for measuring this one up, it's easiest to disconnect your attachment from the machine and we're going to start off with the measurements on the implement side. Now to measure up the pins, there's five main measurements we need. A and B, which is the distance between the ears, C and D, which is your two pin diameters, and E, which is your distance between the pin centers. Normally you can get away with just using a measuring tape, but if you've got a pair of calipers, they can be really useful as well to get a diameter of the pin. Now starting off with your A and B measurement, we're going to use the measuring tape to get the distance between the bushes. Now it's super important you don't actually measure the ear plates, you want to measure from this bush that's sticking out here, so we get the full usable pin area. So starting off at the front pin, we're going to check that A measurement, so we just put the measuring tape on one side of the bush to the other, and we've got 330 mil. Do the same for the B pin on that bush there, and on this machine they're the same size, so we're going to put 330 mil in for our A and B measurement. Now next up, we're going to measure our two pin diameters, our C diameter and our D diameter. Now we recommend using a pair of calipers, it makes it a lot easier because you can smack it straight on the center of the pin, but if you only have a measuring tape, you can measure it from the edge. We just have to be careful measuring pins from the outside because sometimes the pin might have a taper or a cap, which can give you an inaccurate measurement. So we're going to take our calipers to a clean part of the pin on the side here that doesn't have any concrete or buildup. And we can see that that's 80 millimeters for our C measurement. Then we're going to check the back pin as well, our D measurement and that's also 80 mil. Now, most pins are gonna have the exact same diameter on any machine below 40 ton. Above 40 ton, it is common to see different pin diameters, so it's important just to check both pins. All right, the last measurement we're going for today is our E measurement, which is our pin center to center. There's a few ways to do this. If we have the same pin diameter, the easiest way to measure it is from one front of the pin to the front of the other pin, but if we have two different pin diameters, we have to get them perfectly in the centers. You'll see that on your larger excavators. Now, most buckets, you're gonna have a good side to measure and a bad side to measure. This is the bad side because the pin's not sticking out here, so we don't have a real good spot to get the tape except on the side of the bush, and we've got the pin sticking out here much further, so it's gonna give us a bit of a diagonal. So we're gonna jump on the other side to get a cleaner measurement. So you can see on this side that the pins are a lot more exposed, so it's much easier to measure. We're gonna measure from the back of this one to the back of this one. That's the same distance as the center to the center. So we put the tape on there, and we can see we've got 430 mil when I'm holding that one on tight. Super important, you don't mistake measuring the inside to the inside because that will give us an inaccurate figure. And as well, if you are measuring from direct centers to direct centers, you need to make sure that you know where the actual central point of that pin is. So that's why we recommend whenever possible, and if you do have the same pin diameters, to measure from either the fronts or the backs together to get an accurate measurement. Now, if you're running a quick hitch, this measurement, if it's not super accurate, may not be an issue, but especially on half hitches, you must get this perfect to the millimeter or the bucket won't fit. Now that we've finished measuring up the implement side, we've chucked it back on the machine just so we don't have the hitch floating in the air and we get a bit better visibility over the pins. Now lastly, there's gonna be five measurements we need from the machine side. That's F, the dipper arm width, G, which is the H-link width, H, which is gonna be your front pin diameter, I, which is your back pin diameter, and J, the distance between the centers on these pins. Now to make sure we can see what we're measuring, we're just gonna wipe out the excess grease that's sitting next to this O-ring against the bush to make it easier to get a tape in. Now, F and G being the dipper arm width and the H-link width are measured in the exact same way. You get a measuring tape and you check the inside of the ears of the hitch you've already got on there. There's usually a little bit of bush sticking in from the plate and then we're gonna measure off that bush to the other side and get the inside measurement. Now, most machines, that's pretty straightforward. You can do it with measuring tape, but today we've got one of the trickier examples, which is where we've got a chamfer or a beveled edge. What that means is there's a bit of a bevel or a chamfer sticking out underneath the sealed O-ring here, which makes it a bit harder to spot exactly where you're meant to be measuring from. So to get around this, you can put a straight edge in one side against the O-ring. And you see on this O-ring, we're gonna push that O-ring out of the way and get our ruler here right on the steel. And from that, we can then measure across and get the correct distance. Now, if you feel a little bit uncomfortable doing that, or you're not quite sure if you're measuring the right spot, or you're unsure if you're getting around the chamfer, the best way to handle that is to pull the pin out, lift the dipper arm out, and measure the true distance in between the dipper arm, in between the ears there. It's worth noting for these widths, we can shim to fit, and Aussie Buckets will always put a slight tolerance in the measurements to make sure that you can stack your shims in to get a perfect fit on site. Next up is the two pin diameters. We've got H and I. We're gonna measure these the same way as we did on the bucket using a pair of calipers. 
For us, we've got a lot of exposed pin, so it's easy for us to validate the size. But if you don't have a lot of exposed pin, or if you're unsure if you're measuring off the correct spot in case there's a capping, a chamfer, or damage to the pin, the safest way is to slightly have the pin pushed out so you can see the exposed pin that's on the inside and measure that section to make sure it's as accurate as possible. The last measurement we're going for is J, which is the pin center to center. It's measured the same way we did it on the buckets by getting the tape on the back of one pin to the back of the other. Now this will vary sometimes from the bucket size and it's important to make sure you get us this exact measurement because it does affect the curl and the breakout force of the machine. Now we may alter this measurement depending on the hitch you're going for, such as a tilt rotator. So starting off with the correct one that's on your machine now is super important. Now if you are ordering a hydraulic implement and it's gonna be using the auxiliary lines on your machine, it's worth noting that all Aussie Buckets attachments come with BSB flat face couplers. So if you don't have couplers on your machine or you've got some non-standards like Agri, just chuck that on the declaration form so you can either throw in the correct couplers or a spare set for free to make sure it all fits up nicely when it gets on site. All right, guys, that wraps up the video showing you how to measure out your pin sizes. Now, if you do have any further questions, you can either email our team at documents at aussiebuckets.com.au or chat directly to our production team on the mobile number below. Thanks for watching.